Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to present to you a new speedy way of writing HTML code using CSS like selectors syntax. It's a plugin called Emet, formerly known as Zen Coding. It's one of the most downright practical and productive text editors plugin. And this was developed by a Russian author programmer Sergey Chikuyunov. I hope I pronounce his name correctly. Now, before I get into this, I have a question for you. How much time do you actually spend writing HTML code? Well, one may argue that, well, we don't spend that much time uh, because most of the code is auto-generated for us. But there are times when you have to write the HTML code yourself and it can be very time consuming unless you know this encoding. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code and Emet comes as built-in. I didn't have to go and install additional uh, extension or plugin it was just there uh, when I installed Visual Studio Code if you're using any other plugin or any other HTML editor you can install Emet as a plugin or as an add-on and I'm going to include the download link in the description of this video so I'm here in my Visual Studio Code and if I go to file menu new file and I have this new untitled file shown here I'm going to switch this from plain text to HTML and now I can type my HTML code in here. So with this page now configured to use HTML, traditional way of starting HTML code, HTML, hit tab and you get this. But one of the shortcuts of generating the entire HTML page including the body, header and the rest of the things is you just type in the exclamation mark just the exclamation mark and you see the tooltip appearing on the right hand side it says the emit abbreviation so exclamation mark translates to all those things that you see on the right hand side so with the exclamation mark type all I would do is hit tab on my keyboard and voila you see all that getting done for you it has the title the snippet you have got the head tags and you have got the body for you as well so let's say I want to start creating a div with a class inside it so traditionally I could write something like div class and I can say container close bracket and so I had to do all that just write this but with the emet or Zen coding all you would need to do is type in the class name see the preview that you see on the right hand side just by hitting tab uh, you get all that this can come very handy but that's quite simple but with image you can also add very very complex code so let's say I want to create a div with, the, with some content inside it to, to, to write content we use the curly braces and with the text inside it so I can do something like container this is a simple text and hit enter look at that you get all that that's cool so let's say we want to create two containers one a parent container and a child container so how do we go about doing that all I would need to do is just say container and to create a child div all I would need to do is hit greater than symbol so the moment you hit greater than symbol it allows you to go one level deep into the tree and create a child so I can say child container and hit tab see let's see how we can add some text now can you tell me now I've got a question for you can you tell me how we can add some text inside of the child container that's quite simple so all you do is my parent container these are just the names that I have uh, randomly picked it can be anything it's nothing but a class name and do greater than symbol to go one level deep inside to create a child div and now I can say dot which indicates that it is a class I'm beginning to type a class name I can say child container 
and if I want to add some text inside of the child container we saw how it is done we use the curly braces to type the text inside so I can say this content is inside the child diff and now I hit enter and that's the result that you see here it's quite simple one may think well we don't get to use all this but it can come quite handy in this video we just learn how to use emit what it is and how you can make use of it how you can use shortcuts and create the parent div the child div and how to add contents inside of it in the next video i'm going to show you some advanced techniques uh, which can be quite handy and quite fun actually i'll see you there and just before you go if this video has helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button